number. We are going to use our knowledge gained in the previous video to solve these questions. All right, and this is what we derived in the first video. And if this is true, then this is true. But remember that here the power is n. But here we have one, one about y. Very good. Now looking. Now we are uh, equivalent to the following. Given that if this is equal to this, then we have to evaluate this. So for the first one, we have the limit as n approach infinity of n over n plus 1 all to the power n. Please remember that this is not the same as this. Okay? Check the inside. They are not the same. So don't say, oh, it's just simple. It's equal to e. It's not like that. It's very good. So, how are we going to make it be like that? And that is what we are going to look at it now. So here, we can see that with this, we can see that if you have a over b to the power n and if you want to make it negative what will you do you take the reciprocate of what this so if you take the reciprocate of that then with this the limit as n approaches infinity of this when you, you negate the power then this is going to be n plus 1 over n. And the limit as n approaches infinity, we divide here by n plus 1 over n, all the power negative n. So here the limit, continue repeating the limit to you end at your final result. Here we are going to get 1 plus 1 over n to the power negative n. You can see that we are still not in that form, even though the inside is the same, but the power, all right? So what can we do next? What we can do is that the limit as n approaches infinity, all right? We can make this 1 plus 1 over n, power n. Then we bring the negative 1 out. So when you factor the negative one out, then we can say that the inside is equal to what? E. So, but, then you quote, but this is equal to this. And if that is so, then E negative one. So the final answer is E raised to one negative one. Or one over E. So that becomes the final answer for the question. I hope it's clear. It's not difficult. Let's move to the second one. How do we solve the second one? The second one, the limit as n approaches infinity of 1 plus n squared over n squared. So the inside, you divide by it 1 over n squared plus n squared over n squared. And you can see that doing that, you can achieve here to the 1. So the limit as n approaches infinity. Here, this is 1. So 1 plus 1 over n squared. Now, here, bear in mind that even though 1 is here, 1 is here, but here, there is no square, but there is square here. This is true, but there is a square here, alright? So because of that, we have to transform this idea to this. That is why this is there to help you. So here, we say that we are going to let y to be equal to 1 over what? n squared. Alright? And as, as n approaches infinity, as n approaches infinity, in the same way, 
as n approaches infinity in the same way y oh. as n approaches infinity here y will approach y zero and when y approach zero what we are going to do is that we are going to change the limit and write as y approach y zero so because of that please watch well because of that we have to change the variable inside of the what the limit function so we have to make what uh, we have to make n the subjects all right so that wherever we see n we can replace that there so by cross multiplication we get n square y is equal to one all right so here we get n square is equal to one over y so when we square both sides, we get n is equal to square root of 1 over y. So we get n is equal to 1 over square root of y. So we get, so that is what we have for n. So we are going to do the substitution of the n. We are going to do the substitution of the n. At least, uh, let's see what we are going to get. Very good. No, I don't want to commit this. Okay, so now here, this from here, we come to this side, this side, and this side. Okay, so the limit now is no more n, but y approaches zero of 1 plus 1 over n squared, and n is equal to this. You can see that n is equal to this. So you can see, oh sorry, <laughs> here we said that let y be equal to 1 over x squared. So the whole 1 over x squared here is y. In fact, improving, we, want to act, we always want to achieve something improving. So the more you go, the more you watch back where you are going. So you know that having this. This is equal to this. So we want to always achieve that. That is why I came back to watch that. But mathematics is mathematics. Please forgive me here is forgive me here is y, not one by y. That place is y. Very good. That is y. So now we know that y is equal to the whole of this, and that is that. Mm. And the end there is 1 over square root of y. What is left? As y approaches the 1 plus. Okay, that is all. Now, from where we are, from where we are, we are almost there. Alright? We are almost there. But we want to do something. We know that. What we have here, where we are getting to, is 1 over y, not 1 over square root of y. And we also know that this is the same as square root of. Alright, let's continue. So now, here, we are going to get 1 over y. Yeah. So what I'm saying is that 1 over square root of y is the same as that. And with this, with this, we know that this is the same as this one we have here is the same as one over y power half because a square root is the same as power half. All right. And if that is so, then we can write the limit as y approaching 0 of 1 plus y, 1 over y, then we factor this power out, which is power 2. Then we can factor that power out. I hope you can get what I mean. When you factor that out, you get this. And straightforward, we know that the inside here is what we call 
the same as e. So we get e raised to the power half. Very good. And that is the, if, uh, the value for this sequence. All right. The third example, I'm sure you can try your hands on it. Okay, hope it's clear. Not difficult to divide by each term that, that. Uh, let y represent this. Since it's not in this form, 1 over n. And if y is equal to this, then n will be equal to this. And as n approaches infinity, y will approach 0. With that, you go your way. Very good. Very good. All right. 